Oh boy, here we go again. As you know by now, there was another derailment in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Last time there was a derailment in East Palestine, I went with a hazmat suit and a mask, and I went straight to ground zero. That video is still on this channel if you want to check it out. This time, we took a trip to PA, so let's take you on the adventure. When I arrived immediately, I seen the crazy scene, man. Train was completely flipped over. You can even see uh, the other parts all the way down, even over the bridge. And yes, don't worry, I made sure to get up close and personal. I was the only person to really get this close to the train wreck. We also caught a glimpse of the local media over there. They were setting up shop and getting ready to make a video on what was going on over there at the time. I really tried my best in this uh, live stream for everybody so they could see the truth. There was a lot of workers on the scene, but what do you expect when there's a train derailment going on over there? They would not speak to me or even talk to me about what happened over there. So that's when I decided to take matters into my own hands. There wasn't stopping nobody, there was no warning signs, so I got close. Really close. Then I got bored and wanted a better angle, so I decided to go down right by where the river was to get a better view. So now we're down at the river, and at this part, I happened to look over and see a stick in the water, and I decided to use the stick like they did in East Palestine to test the water for any kind of chemicals. So, there was no chemicals on that side, so I wanted to look on the other side where the workers were, but I had a feeling that I wasn't going to be allowed over there. They were already watching me and kind of just asking me questions, so I didn't want to push the problem. Now, I know why they wasn't talking. Seems like all these trains are derailing by water, and they seem to be holding substances, and this one seems to be holding grain and something else in the tank. Not only that, but this happened right over a river, so this is very dangerous. Not only that, but there were some messed up train tracks as well that I found, but what do you expect with a train derailment? Anyways, all I'll say is something ain't right with all these derailments, man. It just seems strategic to me, but that's just me. What do you think? More news next. Oh, if you want to watch the full live stream, I posted it on my YouTube, the True News Network. Go on my description, go to my page, and check it out.